find yourself locked out of your Windows device and you don't know the password and you want to reset the operating system, you can actually set it back to the factory defaults. You can do a reset or a refresh. All you need is a USB keyboard. This is Paul, one of the techs from Micro Center. Let's get started. All right, so the first step is to get a USB keyboard and hook it up to the tablet. And then you want to hit the shift button on the keyboard and hit the power on the tablet and hit restart. And then go ahead and restart anyway. Now the tablet's going to restart and it should come up in recovery mode. So what we want is troubleshoot, refresh or reset your PC or use advanced tools. All right, and so from this menu we select refresh or reset. A refresh uh, reloads Windows but does not affect your user files. A reset removes everything and reloads Windows fresh as if you're going to give the PC away. You know, it's not going to have any of your personal data. So we're, we're just going to do a reset. Now, you may have noticed that I have, the, uh, I have the, the power plugged into the tablet. The tablet will not do a reset or a refresh without it being plugged into the AC power. It just won't do it. Okay, so it's preparing. I think overall the, uh, the process takes about 10 minutes. All right, reset your PC. Here's what will happen. All of your personal files and apps will be removed. Your PC settings will be changed back to their default. So this puts the computer back to the out-of-box state. So at this point in the recovery application, you do need to use the keyboard still. We're going to just, just remove my files just because it might be a little quicker for us. Reset your PC. As you can see, it asks you several times to make sure that this is absolutely what you want to do. All ready to go. This will remove your personal files and apps from your PC and restore all settings to their defaults. Okay. And it says WinBook and resetting your PC and it's going to give us a percentage done of that process. Alright, so it looks like the process is finished and it's restarting and once it's once it's completed this final step it should take us to the uh, the initial setup screens. So from this point you would just go ahead and uh, continue in the setup process as you would on a new computer. If you have any other questions come visit us at www.microcentertech.com or visit our no-wait chat service at chat.microcentertech.com.